<laughs> hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley if you're new. I go to school at the University of Florida. I also cheer here, which is pretty cool. But in today's video, we're going to be answering some questions. I feel like I haven't really sat down and talked with you guys in a minute. So I decided to do a QA. and a If you don't already follow me on Instagram, you definitely should because that's where I asked everyone to send in some questions. So I have a whole list of questions to answer on my phone here. Asked you to ask me anything about cheer, life, college, you name it. I've got my coffee, I've got my questions, so let's get into it. All right, these are gonna be in no particular order. So I'm just gonna start with the first question. Bethany, this one is from you. What are your plans for after college? A lot of you were actually wondering this, but Right now my plans are definitely to move back home just so I can save up enough money to get my own place eventually. Obviously I will start looking for jobs. Um, I'm thinking I want to work in marketing. I would love to live in like downtown St. Pete or Tampa so possibly that could be me working in like an agency or a marketing firm but a lot can happen in eight months so you really never know I'm just riding along this journey of life taking it one day at a time this next question says what's your major and is it hard to juggle everything how many years of school are you doing I'm an advertising major is it hard to juggle everything for me not really I'm a big planner my whole life is written down either in my Google Calendar or my agenda I write down all my assignments if I have practice workouts games, you name it, I write it down. And I also make myself a daily to-do list. Honestly, no, it's not hard to juggle everything. I will say though, when I was a nutrition major, it was definitely super, super stressful and it was hard for me to juggle everything, but it's definitely doable with like cheer and school and everything. You just have to learn how to manage your time super wisely. How many years of school am I doing? I am doing four, I guess four. I don't really like to count my first year as of a year of college because I didn't really get to experience anything. Um, that was COVID year, so most of my classes, actually I think all my classes except one were online. That year that I tried out, they didn't end up taking anybody on the team for cheer that year, so I didn't really have that going for me. Anyways, still salty about it, but going off on a little slight tangent, I will say that COVID brought so many negative things to my life personally. I was a senior when it hit, so I missed out on half my senior year of high school and then also like half of my year, pretty much my full year of my freshman year of college. On the bright side, the one thing that COVID taught me was that time is very limited and anything and everything can be taken from you at any point. So I have really learned to cherish everything. There's gonna be some days where you wake up, you don't wanna go to class, you don't wanna go to cheer practice, but hey, first of all, there are plenty of people who are dying to be in your position, and second of all, I could not have school anymore for the rest of my life if something like COVID were to happen again, or like the cheer team could be shut down at any given moment. So I've just learned to kind of like take it all in, especially my senior year, I've been doing a really good job of that. But yeah, that's my little tangent. Take, take it all in, cherish everything, and don't take anything you have for granted. Next question, sorry, got a little deep there for a second. Uh, your opinion on making videos you love or trending videos to grow your channel. I love this question because I personally feel like if you're making videos and you're making content with the intent or desire to go viral, or to blow up or to become famous or an influencer, whatever, you're not gonna succeed because you're making it for the wrong reasons. I think you should make content that you enjoy, that you love producing, even if it gets zero views. You're having a great time doing what you love and then hey, if it blows up, there you go. But I don't think you should make videos that you don't enjoy just for the trend and just to get big on social media. Next question, how many years have you done cheer? P.S. love your work in videos. Thank you so much. I have been cheering since I was pretty much in the womb. My mom was a cheer coach, so she got me into it. I started on my first cheer team when I was three, I think, and that was my mom's team. I did gymnastics before that too. I did mommy and me classes. I think you can start at like one and a half years old. So I've been kind of doing cheerleading my whole life and I'm really sad that almost over. How do I balance a social life with cheer? Also watch you cheer on Saturday. Hey, Honestly, our cheerleading schedule is not that crazy. Okay, in the fall, it gets a little crazy because we have volleyball going on at one time along with football and I think basketball even overlaps at one point. 
but for me it's easy to balance a social life also because I'm an advertising major and that's probably one of the easiest majors that you have. Don't tell anyone I said that because they're going to make the classes 10 times harder. But yeah, time management is super, super important. My first year was full of me like still learning how to manage my time. It was a lot of trial and error. It didn't come naturally. So Abby said, could you give any advice to someone looking at UF as a college or college tier option? I've made a TikTok video about this before, but I was basically going on a rant saying, in my opinion, I don't think you should look at just the cheer team when you're applying for college. For me, I was set because UF cheer was my dream team and then the college is so good provides so many opportunities so even if i didn't make the cheer team i was going to get a good education regardless so i think that's something to consider when you're looking at cheerleading programs and also like what college you want to attend what would you say is the hardest part when juggling cheer college and social life i think the hardest part is just exams honestly like exams at uf and exams in general are really hard for me so when it becomes exam week which it is right now I am just like a stressful mess but it's kind of nice because like working out and cheerleading makes me so happy seeing my friends makes me so happy so it really is like a good balance between stress from school but also like really happy from cheer it's good to find like your escape next question what's your favorite meal or snack to eat before you cheer for a game i love the blue nerds clusters you know what i'm talking about like the gummy clusters and then i love dots pretzels like oh the red bag chef's kiss they're so good if you haven't tried them you need to get on that how old am i i am 21 years old what are some of the perks of being a college cheerleader oh my goodness specifically at uf you get priority on your scheduling you basically get to like pick your classes before everybody else we have a trainer also traveling is such a big perk i have traveled probably more than i ever will in my entire life within these last three years of being a cheerleader at uf i've been to kentucky louisiana jacksonville utah tennessee south carolina and so many other places that i feel like i never would have gone to without a reason my favorite part about being a florida gator cheerleader i think traveling just traveling and i've met like my best friends from this team so i'm really grateful for that i also got to learn a new style of cheerleading which is so cool because it's just so unique and not everybody does it so getting really good at something that that not everybody else can do is really just makes me feel good this person said, is it hard to make the cheer team? Compared to other cheerleading programs around the globe, I don't think it's insanely hard to make the UF cheer team. It's definitely doable. If you have the skills, you have a good chance of making the team. What is something that really helped you get into UF? Classes, extracurricular, etc. So I did a lot of extracurricular in high school. I did a lot of dual credit classes. I was very, very involved. I was class president. I was editor in chief of yearbook staff. I was in a bunch of different honor societies and clubs, whatever. That definitely helped. UF loves to see well-rounded people. So like having different skill sets looks so, so good on your application. I also did not think I was gonna get into UF. My test scores weren't the best like were actually terrible no but i didn't think i was gonna get into the college so i put that i was interested in the pace program so pace and innovation are pretty similar Pace has to be offered to you you can't really apply for it but i did put that up I, I was interested on my application so i think that helped me pace basically you do your first semester online through uf online and then the only difference between a PACE student and a regular student is you can't stay on campus in the dorms, but that's the only difference. You can do clubs, sports, whatever, just like a traditional student would. You literally just can't stay in the dorms. So I was originally accepted through the PACE program, but then during COVID, since it was like, I guess admission was really low, they offered me a traditional role, so I took that. Uh, this person said, what skills did you try out with your freshman year for a cheer team? So all of our requirements are on the UF Cheer website. If you just look up UF Cheer requirements, requirements they'll come up but basically I had all of that since our stunning like skills are so unique and different it looks really good to know how to do chair stunts so I did a lot of privates to kind of prepare for that most memorable game day so far I think the most memorable game day has been the Alabama game my first year it was literally so loud the stadium was crazy I could not hear the person next to me she was probably like right here screaming at me 
I'm still having to read her lips. It was insane. I think the game was sold out. We literally almost won. I think we lost by like two points. It was crazy. That was the most fun. And then the second most fun game was actually this last weekend, um, the Tennessee game. That was crazy too. That was a lot of fun. Okay, Jacqueline is also an advertising student at UF. That's awesome. Um, tips for getting an internship. They do this thing here. Uh, it's actually today and I'm not there. It's called the career fair. And at UF, you just business professional. You bring your portfolio, you bring your resume, you bring like multiple copies, and everybody gathers in the O'Connell Center or the Odom. And there's a bunch of different businesses that you can connect with and reach out to and like introduce yourself to, give your resume to. It's a really, really great opportunity to, to find companies that you might be interested to work for or do an internship for. Take advantage of the opportunities that UF provides you to get a head start in your future. James asked, would you cheerlead for any NFL team? I think cheerleading in the NFL is super, super different from the cheerleading that I'm used to. And honestly, you have to have like a, a background in dance, but never say never. So since I've never, done dance before i don't know honestly like if i graduate and want to try it i could definitely go to like a clinic or take a couple dance classes to see if, if i even could but i'd be willing i'm i if i was offered i wouldn't say no but i know there are some nfl teams like the baltimore ravens tennessee titans and i think there's one or two more that do like actual co-ed sunning during the games which is awesome that would be really cool to see nfl cheerleading kind of advance towards that um next question do you see yourself still incorporating cheer in your life after college absolutely whether that's like coaching or possibly cheering I do I'm not ready to give cheer up completely I love it way too much it, it's been part of my life for literally almost all my life so I am not ready to give it up what's the farthest game you had to drive to I think Kentucky my first year was the farthest we've ever driven to a game I think it was like 14 hours but it ended up being longer than that because we were stuck in traffic and I think it was raining so it took like almost 20 or some, something crazy like that what is your dream job after college my dream job would be to do social media full-time but I again never say never but it doesn't really look like that's in the cards for me how is senior year going senior year is going great thank you for asking um, I'm having a lot of fun. It's bittersweet, definitely. I don't want it to end. Like I mentioned earlier, I am cherishing every moment, so I don't feel like I'm missing out. Top three Marvel movies. Now, I love this question. Number one, hands down, is The Avengers. Like, the first one where they're all together when Black Widow goes to recruit Bruce Banner. They have Loki and the Tesseract. That one has got to be, like, the best Avengers movie. I can quote the whole movie. It's so, so good. My next favorite Marvel movie. I think is Shang-Chi. That one is like one of my new favorite movies. It's like become a, a comfort movie for me. So that's probably my second favorite. And then my third favorite, let's see, gotta be a Spider-Man. I would say the last Spider-Man, but it makes me so sad that nobody remembers Peter. Next question, can I make the team as a main base being a girl? Absolutely. We have two all-girl groups and they are awesome. So yes, as long as you have like the tumbling requirements, got a good chance. Um, life slash fun student things to do in Gainesville. There's not much, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, obviously game days are super big here. I think there's a few good restaurants you should try. I personally love going to Celebration Point. They just have one of my favorite sushi restaurants. It's called Hana Sushi. They have a really, really nice movie theater. I love going there. And the vibes are so nice. It's like outdoor space. There's a bunch of shops. There's a stage. Sometimes there's live music and just families and kids running around and it makes, it just feels like home. There's also the springs and then there's a bunch of like fun things to do that's not really related to Gainesville. There's like escape rooms, Dave and Busters, karaoke, like stuff like that, but you can really do that anywhere. What made you want to be a Florida cheerleader? So my dad is a big Florida fan. My whole family is Florida fan. I was born and raised in Florida and watching the football games, which is something we always did on Saturdays. So I remember watching the cheerleaders on TV. I was a cheerleader at the time. It just made sense to have the goal of becoming a Florida cheerleader one day. And I remember meeting the team once while I was at a football game and it was just the coolest thing ever. And I used to always, well, I never watched the football game. I always watched the cheerleaders. So it was really only necessary and iconic for me to become one myself. So then I made it my dream, my ultimate goal. I worked really hard for it. I feel like my whole cheerleading career 
led me to this opportunity and prepared me for this opportunity and here I am living out my dream and it's been the best three years ever. <laughs> okay, last couple questions. What are your plans after college and what type of YouTube content will you post after? So I personally love watching like lifestyle vloggers, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that. I hope, I hope my content is entertaining for you guys. I hope you love it and I hope you still stay subscribed once I graduate. I promise I'm fun. I like hanging out with you guys and I hope you like hanging out with me. There's still gonna be some cheer content in there just I'll be posting from a coach's perspective rather than an athlete's perspective so yeah I'm gonna turn into a lifestyle vlogger I hope you guys like that content <laughs> but as long as I live I will be vlogging because the reason I started my channel was to be able to look back on these documented videos of how my life used to be I love watching my super old videos from high school and just seeing how I've changed and matured over the years. It's been really cool to watch myself grow through a screen. And then obviously, when I have kids someday, they'll be able to be like, that's what mom was like. And I think that is so cool. Okay, this will be the last question. When did you start cheer and did you do all-star cheer? I started when I was three. I started rec cheerleading though. When I was three, my mom coached this team called T-Bird. We cheered for football, kind of like how I do now. And then we also competed once a year, I think. And then my cousin actually did all-star cheerleading at Top Dog All-Stars, if you guys know where that is, who that is. Um, I started there on a half-season team. I remember my first practice. I came straight from gymnastics practice, and I was so nervous. I was freaked out. I wanted to back out so bad. My mom told me, just go to this one practice, and we'll figure it out from there. And I'm so happy that I stayed for that practice because all-star cheerleading was my life, was my childhood. I made my best friends doing that sport and competing. I made so many cool memories. That was like the highlight of my life, of my childhood. I miss competing. I miss the feeling. I love performing. I feel like I've been performing my whole life. I did all-star cheerleading and then I did a couple plays in high school and I loved that. Making YouTube videos is kind of like a production. Like I'm sitting here with my little backdrop, with my ring light and my camera and my tripod. Pod. so it just feels like a production I love it so much and then obviously cheering at UF is performing in front of 90,000 people which is the largest crowd I will ever have I'm just really grateful for all the opportunities that I've been blessed with in my life and I'm kind of glad that COVID happened because I've learned to not take anything I have for granted and I think you guys should cherish everything as well it makes life that much sweeter these were low-key kind of sappy questions we got kind of deep and we got kind of personal but I hope you enjoyed this video I'm, I hope I answered all of your questions. Follow me on the gram to be included in this kind of stuff for the future. Let me know if you have any more questions regarding anything. My DMs are always open. Thank you guys for watching my videos and always being so supportive. It really means a lot to me. So, love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye!